okay this is going to be part three here of the summer analysis now let's look at the cost analysis and go on from the finances and so forth so I'm gonna now go to the cost analysis and there could be some stuff in here that I may need to play with and look at I'm gonna leave this at method one I'm not gonna have some feasibility development studies some people might you know we could define this but I happen to know I was very fortunate I installed my system for five thousand two hundred fifty nine dollars and then I offset that and what they're saying is electricity is gonna cost me thirteen dollars a year to run that pump and the natural gas the offset that I would still have to use is gonna be about thirty two so the total fuel that I'm going to have to use to run my system with this new case is going to be 45 bucks and that means if I look at the natural gas I really am going to have an annual savings of $147 so that's how Red Screen is proposing this let's go over to the financial analysis now there's a few things that we're going to need to build upon here's a couple conservative rates there was a time when the fuel cost escalation and we can find that through a variety of means on the internet but there's some financial analysis that's been performed over the years from like energy information website and some others that this cost has actually decreased over time it once was increasing quite substantially but the last three years our economy has gone down and the fuel cost escalation rate has gone down I think three percent is a sufficient value and the typical rate of inflation is three percent I think those are valid numbers I think they're probably typically conservative but that's what I'm gonna leave with you now on my proposed site I'm gonna have it up for 40 years I don't see any reason why it couldn't last that long there's nothing that would cause it to fail this is a pretty robust system. Some folks, I think, will make that value lower, but let's leave it at 40. I'm not really so worried about how long it's there. That's just a projection of time lapsed out. Incentives and grants. The federal incentive is 30%, so that was all I was able to get for this system. So I took 30% of the $5,259 of total cost and that came out to $1,578. The total cost that I had was $5,259. I subtracted the grants and incentives right there. I added the total annual costs which was the proposed fuel cost. The annual cost of the total there was $45. If I had some in interest in some other cases, I would need to go there, operate you know, the OEM, the O and M, which is operations and maintenance and, and other costs. I haven't added that in yet. I'll come back to that in just a second. Let's leave that out for just a very rough estimate of what we've got. So in essence, I am saving a total annual savings of about $147 a year. What this means is that I'll have a payback of this system in about 24 years. So if I'm looking at a money maker, you could make some arguments either way. And I'm not going to justify this for anybody. I'm just saying this is what this is going to give us, is a payback in 24 years. Again, this is for me doing it. So there's some incentive for me to do it because, honestly, I teach it. And I want to be able to do this and say this. If I was an economics guy, you could make the case this may not be feasible. But if I change this value for what it had been for the last couple of years, which was a minimum of 5%, rates of increase of fuel costs that number starting to come back down quite a bit and the payback is gonna make me some money at towards the end I'm gonna have nine thousand dollars is that gonna be a real case scenario I don't know I really don't and I'm not typically worried about that I'm just presenting you with some very conservative figures what this is gonna cost me and why I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do frankly I have a payback of about 24 years here if I take the total value of the last year total profit of four thousand two hundred and eleven dollars and I divide it by 40 years that means in essence every year I'm getting an addition a hundred and five dollars back do I see that in my pocket the answer is no not typically but there is still some value to be added to that so if I go down to the cost analysis what I want to do is come back to cost analysis and I want to go over to the user defined periodic costs and so I can add some stuff into these values down here what I could do is user defined costs or credits and I could do year 30 years unit cost of thirty dollars or I can change that value value out to a 10-year period and the unit cost is that now when I come back to the financial we're moving through the quick but if I come back here now you see that over a 10-year period that the monthly OEM operations and maintenance cost is 30 bucks that drops my values down and brings that out a little bit but you know I, whew, there's some values that could be fun periodic credits and so forth I'm not the finance guy I'm not really the big pusher of this 
I'm just trying to help us out do a site assessment to look at rate of the internal rate of returns, which is the IRRs here. And I'm getting a rate of return of about 3.5% if I look at it over the course of time. That's not too bad. Interest rates on a rate of return of just a regular savings account is nowhere near this. How about interest that's coming back from a 401k? You can make an argument that the 401k could be paying you back more. I'm just letting you know these are values to take a look at. Here's three things to be on the essence for. Now what we're going to do is look at our final project and make some determinations for what we have.